So we as people and as individuals encounter different pollutants every day. So having an understanding of how these different environmental pollutants can impact our brain could potentially lead us to better understand these diseases. Personally, I study Alzheimer's disease and I look at um, the ways in which a common known risk factor, ApoE4, can interact with the environment. And specifically, we work with DDT. So there's a lot of evidence that in people who might have had higher exposure to DDT, such as um, vineyard workers or farmers, that this might have had negative impacts on their cognition. Environmental exposure to manganese in developing countries could contribute to their economic instability due to the arising cases and the debilitating symptoms that it causes. There are thousands of different compounds in the environment that we interact with on a daily basis. We of course do not know how those compounds affect our brain and ideally the Brain Behavior and Environment Program would like to delineate the effects. There are many aspects of neurogenerative disease that we as scientists cannot change. For example, genetic makeup. However, if we can understand how the environment might contribute to that risk, that is something that is modifiable. So having a better understanding of how the environment might interact with genes or might increase risk for some of these devastating diseases is critically important.